that's just a few minutes walk up from the station. And this, of course, is part of what was the former Athletes Village from 2012. The whole neighbourhood is run by a company called Get Living. They were one of the very first providers of build to rent communities. This is called Portland's Place. It's their newest development, their newest scheme, and I've come to learn all about it. So there are 31 floors in this building. I'm up on the eighth floor. There are over 500 flats being launched and they're all different sizes. This one, I'm told, is a two bed, two bath. Great balcony out here, really generous. It's enclosed, but I'd say actually that makes it more usable all year round. It really is like an extra room. Fantastic view of London skyline. That's going to look sensational at night. West Ham Stadium. And, and you've got 25 acres of green space in this neighbourhood, the majority of which is right there in the wetlands. The furnishing package, I think, is very high spec, really top end and very smart. It doesn't come with the accessories, but if you so wish, it comes with everything else, including the garden furniture. Or should I say balcony furniture? Well, this is the, um, the second bathroom, but it has a bath, which I wasn't expecting. Great built-in storage in this bedroom as well. They've both got that. This is the main bedroom. It's a little bit bigger. It has room for a desk, so fantastic. People working from home. Very generous ensuite, very well fitted out. I love the tiles. That's got good storage. It's very slick. This is very smart indeed. It's a good bedroom. Well, I reckon on balance, this flat would work really well for a single person, for a couple, or for sharers. The bedrooms are apart from one another. They're both of a pretty equal size. But choosing to live in a built-to-rent neighborhood isn't just about your space and your flat. It's just as much about the wider amenities. And by that, I mean what's in the building and also what's outside the building. And that is where I'm heading next. I'm on the 10th floor now where there's loads of communal space. I wanted to check out the gym. Fully equipped, really nice gear in here. And, oh my word, it's got its own spin studio. That is very smart indeed. There's no excuse for putting on the extra pounds if you lived here. I'm on what they call the Sky Bridge, which links these two buildings. And this is the co-working social space. As you can see, it's really cool. I've never seen anything like it. But off this, not only is the gym, there is a yoga or meditation room, there is a cinema that you can hire, there's a fantastic dining room and kitchen that you can hire, and joy of joys, there's even a wine vending machine. They really have thought of everything. Tea and coffee. Don't mind if I do. And then next, we have this room, which really cosy and it's soundproof. So if you want to make a private phone call, you just shut the door. And that, I imagine, would be super useful because during the working week, there could easily be quite a lot of people sharing this space. They're working from home, but at the same time, they're getting out of their flats into a different space. It's bright, it's fun, and it's really creative. There are over 30 small independent retailers here within the village, and I'm going to go and talk to one of them. Rebecca, so tell me, this is you and your husband's cafe, Signorelli, right in the middle of the neighborhood. Tell me the story. How do you engage with the community that are here? So everything we do is around the community, so we take constant feedback from them. And we do lots of events, we do supper clubs, uh, we do baking classes, right. we do lots of children's birthday parties. And so that's all supported by the community? I'd probably say 80% of our business is in this community. They're really supportive of us. Um, and they're supportive of one another? 
The community, absolutely. I mean, we've got sort of all ages. It's really lovely because you've got a much, we've actually seen children being born. We've seen all the mums being pregnant. So we yeah. now know all the kids. We know the dogs. Yeah. And there's also some retired couples. There's a few retired couples that have sold their houses and moved it's into the It's a real cross section of society. Yeah, and it's really, really lovely to see that. And people will often, who have moved out, come back and visit. So they'll come to London because we have quite a big international community. Yeah. And on their trip to London, they will make a point of coming back to see okay. us. That's nice. Which is really lovely. It might be three or four years gone and then it will happen, it's, it's all changed. I mean, hearing you talk, because I, I, I know they pitch the, the, the build to rent concept very much about community and neighborhood, and, and it sounds like it, it works from your perspective. I'm a believer that in relationships it takes two to tango, so you need both people to buy into it and to um, make, want to make it work. But it sounds like it's happening here. Yeah, I mean, it has. We've moved our family here, our children go to school here, so for us this has to work. It's a really important part yeah. of our lives. It's something that we benefit from every day. All my kids' friends benefit from it every day. Yes. Yeah. Um, so we really keep putting in what we get out of it. Rebecca, we'll keep doing what you're doing. Congratulations. You. And that's excellent coffee. coffee. And I'm really fussy about my coffee, <laughs> so I'll be coming back. <laughs>There's also a new creative hub here called The Lab. It's a flagship for experiential retail, cultural exhibitions and a creative workspace with a focus on positive fashion and sustainable living. Well, it all sounds jolly good, but I want to find out what it's really like living here. So I'm going to talk to residents Shona and Craig. Shona, Craig and Schooner, I'm very <laughs> pleased to meet you. So this is home. This is home. Oh, up yeah. on the 22nd floor, it is the most spectacular view imaginable. Oh, it really is special. How long, how long have you been here? About a year and a half. So moved in January 21. And, and why did you choose this neighbourhood? It's got everything that you would possibly need around it. It's got sports facilities, shopping facilities. All within the, the neighbourhood, within yeah. the community. Yeah, so you, you, you don't really need to go. Once you're here, you don't really need to go anywhere else. Um, and so it has everything that that was yeah. important to us and that we needed. The flats are very high spec, so you probably wouldn't get this very easily in the private sector. Okay. But it's, I would say it's more than just the flat that you come here for. The, flat, the flats are lovely, absolutely lovely, but you come here for the realm, you come here for the neighbourhood, you come here for everything that's around the flat and is built around the flat and okay. the community that's built around the flat. So it wasn't the flat, or as lovely as it is, the, on, we're on the 22nd floor, there's quite a few of these flats and there's lots of blocks around as well. It's not so much the flat that did it for you, it was, it was the whole. Yeah, the that's whole right, it's very much the package. And if during your tenure you wanted to change to a two bed or a three bed, could you do that? Yeah, yeah. And that's quite straightforward. Yeah. I mean, you really do paint a fantastic picture. It's great. It's great, yeah. We've, yeah. Been, we've been very happy. We've got a 24-hour concierge, um, which you know, helps in terms of deliveries, but also um, screening downstairs. There's, I think, I've heard 500 cameras in, in the building, um, which, is, which is obviously great. And, yeah. you know, secure underground car parking okay. um, is, is a big thing for us yeah. as well. So Plans for the future? Will you stay? Uh, we have no plans to move at the moment. Um, we would like to buy somewhere, um, but I think Definitely, we have many conversations that it would be a sad, a sad time to leave here. Get Living rent just under two and a half thousand homes here in East Village. And I've got to say, there is a real sense of community and a sense of excitement about the place. I mean, there isn't much that you can't do here. You can sleep, you can eat, you can drink, you can play, you can work. You can shop. I mean, everything is right on hand. If you ever did feel that you actually needed to leave the village, then the tube is right down there. I can see it from where I'm standing. If you're interested in finding out a bit more about what it's like to live here, then do be in touch with the team at Get Living. And we at Move IQ will also put a link below. Check it out.